everyone so per adrian wojnowski Dejounte murray is the player that they're engaged around the league with uh, they have talked to the lakers they've exchanged some ideas on a potential trade he also adds uh, they want to get some value back for him you look at the lakers roster and you see what a value do they have that can compete in the marketplace now look the lakers very likely all roads seem to be leading towards the Lakers landing DeJounte Murray or Zach Levine. Uh, those are the two guys that just keep being circulated. The Lakers keep touching base with. Uh, the Lakers want an athletic guard, want somebody that could take some pressure off out on the perimeter, uh, be a point of attack guy, also apply rim pressure. They want to get out in transition. They want to run, right? One of the bright sides of Russell Westbrook, I know there were a lot of bad, but one of the bright sides were the Lakers' pace and just transition. Uh, that was huge. The Lakers are not very good in those regards this season. And it's because they just don't have that quick athletic guy that can just get out there and push the pace. LeBron James is basically it. If you get a guy like a DeJounte Murray, he's a guy that can kind of be a one-man break in a lot of ways. He's got the foot speed to get down the court. Zach Levine, same thing. So it does make a lot of sense. But the Lakers are going to have to trade Austin Reeves if they want DeJounte Murray. Now, I'm not completely opposed to it. Um, based on several reports that have came out, uh, if the Lakers are willing to trade Austin Reeves, that the Atlanta Hawks would be willing to include other pieces, whatever those other pieces are, who knows? Uh, I've seen the Sacramento pick, first round pick being thrown out there, uh, cause it's not going to be like a super high pick. Um, maybe they could get like a Sadiq Bay, uh, who Atlanta very likely is not going to re-sign, uh, there's belief that Sadiq Bey isn't going to want to re-sign, so they're probably going to lose him. So, hey, might as well just throw him in, and he's not making a ton of money. So maybe the Lakers could do something like that. I don't hate the idea of going and getting like a Clint Capella uh, and maybe like uh, Sadiq Bey, or could you get a Bogdanovich or a Hunter? Can you work something like that out, right? The other option, the other alternative, would be to trade Reeves for DeJounte Murray get back another piece, whether, let's say it's the Sacramento pick, right? Well, now the Lakers would have D'Lo, Rui, uh, and several other pieces, plus two first to now maybe go make a big other move. Um, if that can happen, that would be good. Uh, what else do the Lakers have to give up, though? That's the question. Could they give it away with a pick swap? Uh, they also could technically trade uh, the protection, right? Uh, so the Utah pick, or the trade that sent the pick to Utah, uh, was, I believe, top six protected. So technically, they could trade that protection and say, hey, we'll give you that protection. Another option would be to, like, you know, convince the Pelicans to basically take this year's pick. That would free up something else. So basically, they could throw in, oh, hey, if you take this year's pick, we'll give you, you know, two seconds or something like that. And maybe they'd go, okay, fine, right? It doesn't really matter uh, whether it's this year or next year, right? That could be something that you could use, and now that would free up another option for picks. The Lakers have options. They have flexibility. They need to be a little creative here, but it theoretically can happen. It theoretically can get done. Uh, it just depends on what is Atlanta's price for DeJounte Murray. Um, now, as far as the DeJounte Murray front goes, I have my concerns right? Now, obviously, the idea is DeJounte Murray gives the Lakers some athleticism, point of attack defender out on the perimeter, which they desperately need. Uh, if he, in a perfect world, he continues to shoot 38% from three, um, he can be a primary ball handler, but also hit the open shot. And on top of that, he gets back to being the all-defensive guard that he was a couple seasons ago. That's the ideal scenario. But there are concerns that that's not the case, right? DeJounte Murray's big issue in Atlanta is his inability to play off the ball. He's been better this year than he was last year for Atlanta, but he still has his struggles, right? And when you're playing alongside LeBron James, there are going to be multiple times a game where you're going to have to play off ball. So how does that look, right? The other thing is too, is that DeJounte Murray has been terrible defensively. Now, Again, how much of that is Atlanta, right? I do believe that he would be better defensively with the Lakers because he'd be alongside a guy like an Anthony Davis. He'd be alongside a guy like Jared Vanderbilt, Cam Reddish, things like that. So in theory, it's like, okay, DeJounte Murray, he should be at least better, but how much better, 
right? I mean, he can't really be much worse than Austin Reeves has been this year defensively, but still, it's a real question. Um, the other thing is the shooting. Yes, he's shooting 38% from three. But we know how it goes when guys come to the Lakers and they just completely forget how to shoot. And he's a career 34% three-point shooter pretty much every year, but this year he shot around 34%. Uh, so what's more likely? That he gets back to his average of 34% or he continues to shoot 38%? I don't know. It's a real question, right? Um, also, finishing at the rim has been a real concern with him. I mean, he's not like terrible, but he's not somebody, it is something that has kind of plagued his career, uh, his entire career, right? Is can he effectively finish around the rim? He definitely applies rim pressure, definitely a guy that could get there, but can he finish uh, through contact, stuff like that is a concern. So I definitely have my concerns about DeJounte Murray. To me, if you're going to get DeJounte Murray to the Lakers, I'm all for it, but what are the other pieces? If it's just DeJounte Murray and that's it, then I don't know how much that improves. It makes the Lakers better, but how much is the is the question. And what do you have to get up for give up for DeJounte Murray? Right? Luckily, DeJounte Murray, his new extension doesn't kick in for a while. So the Lakers only have to match about like 17 and a half million. Like technically, you could just do a D Lo for Murray swap and it works. Now, again, it's probably not happening. Probably giving up Austin Reeves. So Austin Reeves and like Max Christie basically get you there. Or Austin Reeves and like a Jalen Hutchino get you there. Um, you know, or you basically you need Austin Reeves and like a, a vet minimum salary. Um, another like three to four million. So the Lakers could easily get to Dejounte Murray. Now, to me, it's like again, okay, let's say you trade Reeves and you trade a pick swap and. Um, you throw in, say, let's say you do end up having to give up Max Christie. You throw in Max Christie also. Okay, cool. Now you'd have D'Lo, Rui, Gabe Vincent, one first. Basically kind of what you are without DeJounte Murray. So is that enough to go get the deal done, right? Is that enough to go get another piece, right? Now, there's rumors going around that the Lakers are, you know, in advanced talks for Zach Levine. So do the Lakers go and land Zach Levine also, I have concerns about all four in their fit, but, I mean, on paper, that would be terrifying. Imagine starting five with DeJounte Murray, Zach Levine, Jared Vanderbilt, LeBron James, and Anthony Davis. I, that's up there with the Celtics' big five, right? But do they go and look to go, okay, well, let's let's take D'Lo, because you got to, you got to, look, I have made the argument for trading Reeves over D'Lo and keeping D'Lo. If you get DeJounte Murray, then keeping D'Lo doesn't make sense to me, right? Because... Now, D'Lo is best as a point guard. Well, if DeJounte Murray is going to be your point guard, then you don't really have a big need for D'Lo, although you could keep him off the bench if he's willing to play that bench role, but then you're probably losing him for nothing next season, right? Because why would he opt back in if he's going to uh, if he's going to have to play a bench role the entire tenure with the Lakers, right? He's going to go try to find greener pastures. So if you trade for DeJounte Murray, I think you have to go trade D'Angelo Russell. I think you unload D'Lo... And whatever else, if you have trade Rui, Gabe Vincent, and go get other pieces. Again, maybe those other pieces come from Atlanta, right? Maybe you are trading Austin Reeves, D'Lo, Rui, and you're getting back, um, you know, you're getting back like a Clint Capella and Bogdanovich, or you're getting back a Clint Capella and a, a Sadiq Bay or something. I don't know, right? If you could make some, you know, basically swap three guys for three other guys of need, then I'm not against it. I'd be all for it. So time will tell, but. Again, there's kind of conflicting reports. Lakers are pushing for Levine. They're pushing for Murray. Two things about that. One, could it be they're trying to get both of them? Real possibility. The other thing is, one report is from Woj, who, you know, Woj I trust more than all the other murmurs that are out there. Uh, and he reported the, the DeJounte Murray thing. So my guess is that it's looking and leaning towards DeJounte Murray. But... As always, this is a discussion, so I pass a question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? Should the Lakers go and get DeJounte Murray? Um, would you be willing to give up Austin Reeves to go get DeJounte Murray? Or do you think, no, figure it out another way, keep Austin Reeves? Um, you know, who else would you want to get besides DeJounte Murray? Because, again, my thing is, I'm all for DeJounte Murray, but you got to get other things. If it's just DeJounte Murray, I don't think that's enough to really all of a sudden make the Lakers a contender. Um... 
But you never know, right? You never know how things are going to pan out until they actually happen, right? Maybe DeJounte Murray comes in and he's just brilliant for the Lakers, right? And just completely turns the Lakers' fates around. I don't know. Um, but again, love to hear your thoughts and opinions, however you feel, down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me a lot. Let's me enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. Now subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.